Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nazi Farming in Philippines. Well, I've just mowed from here all the way up, done all the back paddock. So I thought I'd do a video to show the new people what the farm looks like from the gate. There's a walk up with the old house over here. All this area. Hey buddy! Listen, um, I always do Mary Lou's path for her along here and cut that down really short because the snakes in through there, especially in through Snake Gully here. But the lowlands which we reclaimed, all reclaimed that. The creek used to come right up over here, just the other side of those trees, against the banks. So we pushed it all the way back over there. S Sam Dog, these trees here, the ones I planted from seed, got the seed going and uh, planted them all and look at them now. If you look huge, Renato, you'll remember these. When the old, uh, the old turkey house used to be here as the old um, storage room when we built the house. That's why you had them all growing through there. This is one that Tick planted. It's good when you have your own place. Well, this used to be a complete, complete um, coconut and banana plantation. And it was only the house area up here. All this, all the way through here to the back was just pure bananas. Pure bananas, coconuts. The coconut trees used to run all the way along this line here. All the way through here, all along the back, through the shed up the back. Used to be. And like I said, all these, everything here, the chicken I have planted. There used to be a big drain down through here. That was the drain which is now on the opposite side. That drain used to be there because that was all um, rice paddies, then they turned it into um, corn, then they turned it into something from fucking anything else. And uh, this used to have raised beds. This is one that I built. It's the only one that's left. There's four raised beds I put down here for Chick so she could see what a raised bed's like to do her vegetables on. And uh, like there used to be a big drain through there. That's all that's left of it now. So, uh, I said everything here you see has been planted. Everything. The pathways I've done, all the pathways, the driveways, all the paintings, done the whole fucking lot. All these driveways, down through the back here. This used to be all the drains used to run down through here. They run down all the way down through. This used to be a big drain that ran all the way down through here just to the left of that tree. They used to be about two feet deep all the way through here. Believe it or not, guys, this is all bananas. From here back was just pure fucking bananas. All around the front, bananas, bananas, bananas. You couldn't even fucking see five foot in front of you. Bananas. But cut it all down, cleaned it all up, mow it all down, and everything comes good. The tool room on the end, the uh, tool storage room for the large equipment, followed by the truck and the bus, the little white loafy. We were gonna, I was in two minds whether to put it across there or whether to put it across here and have a roller doors at the front and rear so that you can drive through. End up decided to put it there and it turned out it worked out quite good. Of course pig pen, no longer in operation. Chicken house, all cement post, all done solid. This will last for about 30, 40 bloody years, definitely. All the baby hotels, all the young'uns raising all them. Come around the back. Turkey house, this is where um, within the next seven days I'm going to be cutting a hole in through here. Within the next seven days, I'll be cutting a hole in through here and I'll be closing off this quarter in here. This is going to be a milking bale for the goats. So this is one large goat room, this one here. One large goat room, family room, another family room here. Then we've got the bachelor quarters in through here. So we put the mama and their babies when she has a young and keep them separate from the others. All got plastic floors inside, all raised. It's all their shits fall down on the floor. This is a turkey run area over the back here. That was going to be mama pig's retirement area, that. But um, now it's nothing. Right, solar lights, as you know, we've got all around the farm. Over here, 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 over here. So it lights the place up. Got the new solar um, one over here that we're still put, getting going through the test mode at the moment. The Wi-Fi is up over the back here, and that gives us out right the way back, not right the way back over there to them trees. Believe it or not, I don't know why it says fucking 50 meters, but um, I can get 300 meters out of it in a straight line. They're fucking bizarre, eh? So the fence here is to put up for the uh, goats to keep the goats out of the creek, because this area behind here, our property runs along the creek line to the base of all those bamboo on that side of the creek and we run all the way down there and all the way down to the bottom so the creek's all in our property all the way along and this area here all the trees that chicks planted for her goats and she's also planting down through here 
It's an avocado tree, she's got lemon trees, she's got all these other fucking trees. So we had to put the fence up to keep the goats out. So a happy wife is a happy life. Bat! 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 Here he is. Bat! He hears me. <laughs> so he's um he's out with Alfredo at the moment. Bat! He's not happy. He's not happy. I'll get him and take him for a walk with me up the back. So this is the uh, estate area here. This was all rice paddocks before. And then um, they turned it into corn. Uh, the last rice crop finished. And uh, they turned it into melons after that. And then it just went to shit and it all went to the um, developers. So they've got them in 10 metre by 10 metre blocks. They're 100 metre blocks each. All along here. These are valued at 200,000 each along here. I don't know who the fuck would pay that for them. We bought these ones here. This is when they first started. They were 100,000, which was a fucking heap for us. But um, we bought this one here for 100 fowl. This one here was 150, 55, I think it was, for this one here. The reason being the road's supposed to come all the way down to the end here, to our end paddock, supposedly. So that means this would only be 10 by 10. But the new developers said, oh, well, we we'll have a road going to nowhere. We'll add it to this block and we'll get more money. Which they did, so they blocked us off from our farm. Yeah, you hear all this fucking bullshit about, um, you know, saying, oh, you've got to have access to the farm, you've got to have three metre access, you know, you can't do that, you've got to do this. Yeah, well, they do what they fucking want. I said, I said oh, we'll put this across. Oh, no, you can't do that, you've got to have access. I said, well, how come every other fucker cuts us off, but we have to fucking do everything for them? I'm fed up with this shit. Oh, you can't do that, you know. So, well, how come we haven't got access to our fucking land? Oh, well, when it's done, we have to go and see the housing people and blah. I said, oh, yeah, so everyone's got fucking houses built. And then they're going to say, hey, we've got to put a fucking road through your house. Fuck off. Seriously. That's the shit you get to when you're in the Philippines, guys. Oh, look, here's the wild chickens back. Right, so I've laid all this down. I did it before, just around the edges, when um, Martin was here. Martin Harvey was here. Just done all around... I walk through, I normally do it from about these trees back and I leave the middle to grow for the goats but the goats haven't been coming up here lately so I don't know if it's the bees attacked them and they got scared or whether it was the snakes I don't know but something scared them and they don't come up here I forced them up here the other day up here and um, they ate around here, they were just along here and that was it, they wouldn't go up the back area there whatsoever so all that grass was about um, six inches long so i just cut the whole fucking lot down so that's what i've done this afternoon guys so this is the back lot is this one this is five thousand something square meters i'm not sure exactly how much don't know but it's full of um production coconut trees durian trees look all durian trees all the way through here there's ramadan trees there's fucking those snotty ball trees over here is our avocado trees as well and uh, like I said, all this used to be bananas as well, but uh, I cleared it all out. And you'd always come across, you see all the big holes in the ground where the bananas used to be. Where the bananas used to be. So I think just about all the avocados. I got three this morning. Oh yeah, there's more up there still, look. Still more up there. Yep. More up here. Alright. Oh, that's a big fucking leaf. So it looks like it's... Oh yeah, here they are. Here, look, this mob. This mob just here. So there's more, more on that. So this land is up for sale, guys. Yes, definitely. It used to be like next door was. And they've cleaned that up within the last six months. They've totally cleaned it up. You should have seen what it was like before. But um, you can see what this was like. And when, when Chick brought this, it hadn't been used for 20 years. So um, it was just the, the uh, foreigners coming in here. They would come in here and um, steal the coconuts and all the durians and the, there was trees everywhere. There was grass was like a metre fucking high. There was coconuts growing up where they'd fallen and they had to hack their way through here and clean it up just to take it back to a harvestable area, which it was. And then, of course, once I come, I took it the next stage further and turned it into lawn. And all it is is just mowing it, guys. Same shit that you see here, same jungle shit, exactly the same. No fucking seed laid here. Same shit, and this is all fenced off, so this is up for sale and it's got full full fences all the way around, barbed wire, hog wire, fucking strong wire, and uh, concrete post, and it's absolutely, this is my favourite block, this one, 
absolutely love it. Why? Because it's so cool. You know, there's still plenty of areas you can put a house and still have all the trees for your harvest and uh, it makes good money. And you also get visitors coming in to see you. Look, chickens, visitors coming in. So I'm glad I got this one trimmed back down again. I don't know why the goats don't want to come up here, guys. I really just don't understand. You know, it's got me fucked. Absolutely. But, like I said, it's nice and quiet because there's plantations all around. So it's just quiet as hell. And, of course, you've got the creek running through the middle area here. And this is all flat. All flat. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, guys, so there you go. So this is for you new people who have um, subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. You've seen a walkthrough from the front gate through our property at the front and through our back property as well up the back area here. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button by all means. Hit the like button. Hit the bloody person next to you if you want. I really don't give a shit. Just hit the bastards. So here we go back again now. Back across the bridge. Thank you, Bob and Joy and Alfredo for your time helping me with this. Thank you very much. We've done a very good job building this bridge. We've got this one done. We've got all the fencing done here. When we sell this back block here, this block will be for sale to go with that block as well. We can say, yeah, this block comes with that and just up the price, but it's two different titles. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, love? You know what I mean? Right, six lemon trees all the way through here in goat area. Where's my little baby? I'm going to get my little baby. Bat! 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 This area here I mow as well, all the pathways, because I walk up with the goats all through here. And if I didn't mow it, it would be just like as you see here, look, be exactly the same. Bat! Bat! Okay, Alfredo, I'll take him. Bah. Come on, Bonbon. You're our new stud boy. Hey, you been out with Alfredo? Smell. Always let him smell you. Come on then. Come on, big boy. Come on. Alright. So we'll leave the other goats out there. They're about to drop. So um next month, at the end of this month and next month is gonna be full on goat dropping so there'll be a hell of a lot of goats and I'm pretty sure there'll be a few triplets amongst them as well come on little fella come on come with daddy come on all right guys so there you go that's the Aussie farm hope you enjoyed it like I said if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll catch you all later don't forget have a look at our videos up here from our subscribers they're people just like you as well see you later guys bye